victory over the obstacles. Dr. Vivek Shirsagar is the author of this book. We are introducing Dr. Vivek Hindurao Kshirsagar. Dr. Kshirsagar is the managing director of the highly reputed and widely recognized Katraj Dairy of the Pune District Cooperative Milk Producers Union Limited, located at Katraj in Pune, Maharashtra. Old Age Home In the Mahabharat, Yaksha, a supernatural being, asked Yudhishthir a question. What does man always forget? Yudhishthir answered, Man always forgets his death. In fact, diseases, old age and death are inevitable. Old age makes us more dependent upon others. Often, this dependency is not just financial, but also physical and emotional. However, due to their busy lifestyle, youngsters nowadays are unable to take care of their aging parents and ultimately, this ends up in the elderly parents being sent to an old age home. This is considered a very ungrateful and wrong decision in society. Because we are humans and it is our responsibility to take care of our parents. I think that we should not disturb that our children, they are not taking proper care of us. We must enjoy our retirement life like Vana Prasthashtam. Vana Prasthashtam means you have to give suggestions to your younger, younger generations, but don't expect anything. Don't force them. You just give your suggestions as a third person. That is one prestige. Think about another aspect. Pollution in the big cities is increasing rapidly. The increasing population has made living in the city very difficult for most people, especially the elderly. People in the city consume a lot of junk food and the vegetables transported to the cities are also not fresh or pure. The elderly people suffer a lot due to the increased air, water and sound pollution and it has an adverse effect on their health. Difficulty in moving around the city due to increased traffic problems and the busy lifestyle of their kids results in loneliness and the neglect of the parents' mental and physical health. When old age homes built in the villages, in the middle of village or in the nature surroundings, that will be beneficial for villages as well as the uh, old persons, their presence will be uh, empowering villages and the senior citizens, they will enjoy the uh, fullest surrounding of greenery and village environment for them. The fresh food and the purity of nature in the village can work as healing elements for the declining health of our elderly people. The pure air and sunlight and fresh food provide the vitamins and minerals which are scarcely available in the crowded and congested cities. Additionally, the villagers providing these services and resources to the old age homes can generate a good income. This will give self-employment opportunities to the villagers. The senior citizens coming from the cities bring with them a great deal of expertise of their own professions so they can befriend the senior citizens of villages and they can also spend time in guiding the youths of the village in building their careers. Uh, another crucial point is that when uh, there will be an old age home at villages, because of old age homes, there will be a medical facility, ambulance services and medicines availability. So with the help of old age home, the villagers also be uh, beneficial for, to use these facilities for them. Like a cooperative society, such old age homes funded by the government and managed by the generous and civic-minded people of society can greatly contribute to the development of the villages. Tej Guru Sir Shri, the founder of Tej Gyan Foundation, in his book Life After Death, says that life after death depends on how many people pray for you when you start your last journey. 
senior citizens when they stay in cities and they are alone and they are dying in a closed apartments without anyone's present or anyone's blessings here the old age homes at villages here the villagers will be always with them their blessings their best wishes they are also with them when we think about creating employment opportunities in the villages and providing guidance to youngsters about choosing their careers we can't ignore the importance of discussions on the reforms which need to be carried out in order to manage resources like cattle water and the machinery needed for agriculture in rural areas we also need to diligently carry out many improvements in various systems like the insurance system the cropping pattern the production and sales of agri products etc so it has been dr vivek hindurao kshirsagar's endeavor over the last many decades to make sure that these natural resources are preserved in pristine condition for many generations to come.